Thursday, April 4th, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, we're here at windy.com. We're looking at the weather conditions, at least as far as severe goes around the Earth. Orange is severe, yellow is moderate. There's quite a bit more moderate than there is severe, but there are a few locations around the world experiencing severe weather right now as I do this video. One of the places is Italy. I think for the first time I've ever seen all of Italy under some sort of weather advisory. Right now they're under a severe wind warning, severe rain warning, and a severe thunderstorm warning. All right now as I do this video. Western Spain looking at a snow and ice warning. Going over to Canada and the United States. Canada's got a few areas that are showing snow and wind warnings. Down in the United States, in Massachusetts primarily. That is a red flag warning right there. If we click on that, you'll see it'll bring up a red flag warning until 8 o'clock tonight. For all of Massachusetts, most of lower New England, including Boston, red flag until 8 p.m tonight go over to the central part of the United States in northeastern New Mexico this is something new that's just come on in the last 45 minutes a fire weather watch has been issued for far northeastern New Mexico the Mississippi River Valley all the way through the Mississippi from southern Canada to the Gulf of Mexico flood watches and warnings all the way up and down the Mississippi get down into southern Louisiana in the New Orleans area you're looking at atmospheric instability that goes all the way up into Mississippi Tennessee Arkansas especially out in the Gulf of Mexico in fact earlier I saw some areas that were producing tornadoes out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico these burgundies represent atmospheric instability which leads to severe weather and you can see the severe weather churning here at the GO 16 through Louisiana where earlier there was a severe thunderstorm warning and a tornado warning in southwestern Louisiana where a tornado was spotted by somebody on the ground right over in here. These darker colors represent very tall supercells and those storms are capable of producing large hail damaging winds and most of this area is supposed to see between one and two inches of rain just depends on where you're at locally you can see the storms moving through the area at around 15 to 20 miles per hour moving east northeast through mississippi alabama up into tennessee where they definitely don't need any more rain we'll be in georgia by tonight the storms won't be quite as strong by the time the sun goes down as you can see the atmospheric instability kind of levels out after sunset but right now it's at its peak and you can see these again dark burgundies represent atmospheric instability and the greatest is offshore but you can see it goes onshore too for quite a ways clear up into Tennessee looking at lightning strikes the highest concentrations of lightning strikes are in lower Louisiana over into Mississippi looking at 26,000 lightning strikes in the last two hours that's a lot of lightning a lot of energy in the atmosphere in that area not uh, so much hail but a lot of lightning yesterday was the big day for hail on April 3rd you can see there were many reports from southwest Oklahoma northern uh, Texas uh, in the Texas Panhandle in far southeastern Texas and parts of Louisiana these are just the ones that were reported here at this site hailreports.com some of the reports up in I think it was Oklahoma near Oklahoma City saw hail yesterday of 3.25 inches and I'm going to show you yesterday the storm that produced that very large hail what they they compare it to almost softball size but not quite a little bigger than baseball uh, not quite softball this is the storm system right here these were a collection of towering supercells the higher they go the larger the hail can get not always but the it's actually the strong updraft just east of Hollis you can see the white on the radar here that's a very tall supercell and that's probably the storm that produced the three and a quarter inch hail and that's just what was reported there could have been areas locally that saw uh, or rurally that saw larger hail. There's an area of 2.5, of several at 1.75, 2.0, that's two inches. That's at least golf ball size. Some areas baseball size, some slightly larger than baseball size hail. So that's an incredible updraft. And you can see right here, 3.25 inches yesterday. There were 29 areas that reported large hail and there were probably 
equally as many that went unreported. There's the largest that was reported yesterday on 4.3. That's 3.25 inches. I'll give you some comparisons here in just a minute. The largest hail ever found, and this is just again that was found on Earth, or not on Earth, or at least in the United States. Here's some comparisons right here. Quarter size, you can see ping pong ball inch and a half, 1.75, softball 3.8, there's a softball right there. That uh, hailstone would do some major, major damage. The largest ever found was in Vivian, South Dakota back in 2010, nearly a two pound, eight inch diameter chunk of hail. Do you know how high that had to have been in the atmosphere in order to achieve that size? Or at least the wind speeds were over 150 mile an hour to get it to that altitude in order to achieve that size. It's absolutely incredible. Once again, that was from Vivian, South Dakota, 8-inch hail. Wasn't any 8-inch hail yesterday. I don't think there's going to be any 8-inch hail today. However, the atmosphere is absolutely loaded with lightning through this area here in the Gulf states, especially southern Louisiana, moving into Mississippi and Alabama as I do this video. I wanted to share some really spectacular photos and video you see right here. This was sent in by Kelly from Colorado, and you can see this is that wall, This we call it a sky curtain. It almost looks like a wall in the sky phenomenon. That's the original video. Here I've simply inverted it so we can get a better perspective of what this thing looks like. And we see these things quite often these days. It's almost like a, a new part of the atmosphere, these big, long, straight lines in the sky. And it almost resembles like a curtain or a blanket, really unique. And, and we really don't know for sure what causes that or how it actually forms. Here's some very unique clouds sent in by Anna from New Zealand. That's the original. That's obviously inverted. Looks like animal fur up in the atmosphere. Incredible. Another incredible photograph sent in by Jennifer from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Look at that. There are some spectacular sky photos that come out of Albuquerque. Texas, look at that. Looks like some sort of a thunderstorm rolling through Texas. Photograph by Lamar Jola. That's slightly adjusted. I don't know what we've got going on right there. If something was flying through the atmosphere, this is a photo I used yesterday at the end of the UV video. I always share photos at the end of the UV video, three or four photos. I don't know exactly what this is, guys. I wish I could tell you. Don't know what it is, but it's a really neat photograph. Never seen one quite like it. This was sent in by Casey. It looks like a dual sky again. See that every once in a while? That's a very good example of the dual sky phenomenon. Photo from Wyoming, Anthony Costello. Colorful clouds with some sort of a light beam coming through the clouds, some sort of a sunbeam. This photograph was sent in by Marlena from Rome, Oregon. And it was a very unique cloud that she noticed this day that it was the only cloud in the atmosphere that was reaching down, touching the ground, almost like some sort of a vacuum cleaner. Every other cloud looks perfectly normal, but for some reason, this one bent down towards the ground. That's why she took the photograph of it. And it's not a wildfire or anything like that. It doesn't appear to be a rain shaft. Just some sort of a very unusual cloud. Photograph here sent in by Tracy from Grand Junction, Colorado of some colorful clouds. Heart-shaped cloud out of Brazil. Another unique photograph sent in by Tracy from Colorado. Great observation there. This was sent in from Massachusetts. Sent in by Laura and Steven. They were at a restaurant and they noticed this very unusual cloud out in the sky. It was the only one of its kind. That's why they and other people were out taking pictures of this thing. It was so rare. That's the original. Here it is inverted into x-ray and negative format and definitely was a very unique cloud. Had some straight lines going across the top. Don't know what to make of that. Here's another one of these orb things. This is a different one. I've showed you guys now three or four from many different locations around the world. And here's yet another example of another one of these orbs moving through the sky. Don't know what these things are. And I've been collecting sky photographs for many years and I've never seen anything quite like these things. Super unique. Look at that. It's very similar to the ones that I showed you guys, but yet it's unique in its own way. This was sent in by Joseph from the mountains of northwestern Canada. Another one of those triangle-shaped cloud phenomena that we've been seeing, again, all over the world. 
Thank you, Joseph, for sharing. I want to thank all you guys for sharing your photographs. I really do appreciate it. It does take me a while to get through all these photographs as we receive several each day. But you can find the ones that I've gotten through so far here at the website, MrMBB333.com, in the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. Don't forget to check out the website. It's linked below every video in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.